Chrome OS 89 rolled out not too long ago, and there were a ton of features that came along with it, including nearby sharing. And though this feature didn't actually roll out with this update, it's kind of in a coming soon phase. It is still there behind a flag. And when you turn it on, you get the same nearby share that we've talked about for quite a bit up to this point. However, there is a part of nearby share that's being worked on for Android phones right now. And that's the ability for your phone or device to be visible to everyone around you for a short period of time. As it stands right now, nearby share just works with contacts that you have stored in your phone and contacts that the other person has stored in their phone. And while that works and it gets the files transferred that you want, it isn't exactly the experience that you need if you need to quickly move a file from one device to another. But even though this hasn't rolled out on Android yet and we know it's coming, it turns out that when you turn the flag on for nearby share, it's actually here on Chromebooks already in 89 in the stable channel. And we want to show you today how to get it up and running so you can use nearby share with just about anybody you want. All right, so let's get this up and running on your Chromebook. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. You can see up there and you're going to see the experiments page. If you search for nearby sharing, you'll actually find three different flags, but the only one you need to turn on is the one that says nearby sharing. Once you've enabled it, you'll see something like this in the bottom. You hit that restart button and your Chromebook will look like this and we'll be ready to get started. Okay, so once you're restarted, if you go into your system tray, to your quick settings, you have a new thing here, nearby visibility. So click that and it's gonna kind of step you through the nearby sharing process. So I'm gonna cancel out of this to kind of show you some of these pieces here. Basically you have the account you're signed in on, obviously you wanna to toggle this entire thing on if you're wanting to use it. You can change your device name if you so choose. Uh, you have your list of contacts. This particular account on this Chromebook has no contacts, but still you can go there and look at all your contacts at Google's website for that. And then you can choose the type of data you want to use in order to transfer stuff. So if you want to allow mobile data to be used, you can do that. Or you can try to do this without internet and just use Bluetooth and local connections in order to get your stuff transferred. Under your device visibility, you have all contacts, some contacts, or hidden. And this is the way it's been for quite some time with nearby sharing. This is the way you've done it. If you didn't have the contact in your devices between the two, you couldn't share stuff between them. And that's why this new thing right here, visible to everyone, is such a big deal. Because when I turn this on, I get prompted that now I'm visible to nearby devices as my Chromebook's name for five minutes. This is gonna turn off after five minutes and you're gonna want that because if you're in a public place and there are different people on the Wi-Fi network, they could just start sending you stuff and you don't want that all the time. You don't wanna be bothered with that. But when you know it's time to transfer something, instead of having to wonder whether or not you have a contact on your phone, which between this phone and this Chromebook, we don't have contact shared, this should be available now for sharing for five minutes to anyone on the local network. So I'm going to take my phone here and I'm going to pick, uh, pick a image here. We're going to hit share and I'm going to go to nearby share and it's going to start looking for nearby devices. Again, these contacts aren't shared immediately. This Chromebook shows up when I click it in just a moment, you're going to see the Chromebook ask if I want to accept that I'm going to accept it here and you'll see it start moving here. Check mark there, item there, and because Chrome OS 89 is just kind of awesome, down here in your tote, in your latest files, there's that image that was just shared over, and boom, it works, kind of like magic. The important thing to remember here is, not only is nearby sharing getting close to rolling out, I mean, we're seeing signs that this kind of functionality of visible to everyone is getting close to rolling out on Android, but nearby share is supposed to be coming to Chrome OS as of Chrome OS 89. And I feel like Google might have held back bringing nearby share out until they could get visible to everyone ready on Android so that they can roll this out as an entire package on both platforms. That way, when anyone is ready to share stuff from a Chromebook to a phone or from a phone to a phone or from a Chromebook to a Chromebook, it's much easier with this new feature in place. And we're really excited to see this actually roll out, hopefully in just the next few weeks. Again, Google advertised this as a Chrome OS 89 feature. So we are eagerly awaiting it to actually arrive. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, go down there and hit that subscribe button as well. And make sure and ring the notification icon next to that. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos, just like this one until next time, we'll see you.